Did you, could you sense, I mean, you were just feeling them out for the first couple rounds, like you say, but... Uh, uh, feeling them out, figuring them out, do was awkward, hard to, you know, hard to, uh, sometimes it's easier to fight someone who's got, who's really fast and, you know, but right on key and right on point than someone who's not near as good, but super awkward, so. How are you feeling now? You're, 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 you got your game face on, you, countdown is on for you getting in there answering the bell. Yeah, yeah. Um, Feeling great, camp's going great. Um, I'm looking better and meaner than I was in camp for Jose, so if that lets you know anything, it's gonna be good. Hey Chad, obviously you got a big fight coming up against Mike Lee. Since you've become champion, has anything changed in your preparation? Uh, any different training? Have you upped anything? Um, changing your life since you became champion. Besides you guys standing right here, uh, you know, there's been more recognition, more cameras, but you know, we've added, we've added things because we're always looking to work harder and harder, but um, I haven't changed. The work ethic ha hasn't changed. Um, you know, I'm the same old CP that you guys have always seen and known, so. Caleb, is, is the knockout mandatory? Are you leaving the ring with a knockout? I'm leaving the, Mike Lee's getting knocked out. So this fight's not going 12 rounds. Um, it's going to be a nice knockout. What round are you predicting that knockout? Uh, I ain't putting a round on it. Okay. Um, I've never been the type to do that. I never even really say that, you know, whether I'm getting the stoppage or not. But this fight is not going the distance. Either he'll bow out before 12 rounds or I'll bow him out. What makes you so confident in it? Tune in July 20th and you'll see. He's been talking a lot of stuff. And apparently so much so that has this affected you spiritually, the, the kind of stuff that's been coming out of his mouth? Um, you know, people getting, he's going to pay for it. So all the words that he said, I'm going to put them on a plate and I'm going to make him eat it. And people can say, oh, I'm in his head, I'm in his head. That may not be a place you want to be. So if you check my track record, that's not a place for somebody. So he wouldn't last a minute where I'm from. He wouldn't last a minute doing what I've done. He'd get eaten alive. So I may not even cook him and eat him. I may just eat him while he's still screaming. <laughs> hey, kids, speaking of, you know, the things that he's he trying to do to get in your head, you know, he's talking about all that stuff, studying you, you know, more about you and all this negative stuff. It sounds like that hasn't affected you and you're moving forward. So as far as your production in your gym and preparation, what have you been doing to ensure that, you know, Mike is really taking Just care of Just be the same old Caleb. Um, every camp I'm getting better. You see me in the Medina fight, uh, someone who's given um, a lot of people a lot of trouble, um, gotten the short end of the stick on some decisions that should have been his. Um, you've seen how I handled that. Then you've seen how I came in after a year layoff to fight Jose. You've seen a much better and improved Caleb Plant from that. And that's off a year layoff. So um, fighting back to back like this after fighting Jose, you guys are going to see even better Caleb. The strength, the boxing ability, the speed, the conditioning, everything is on a new level. So, Another thing you said is that, you know, you, you know, this is this is your life, the boxing. Yes. You don't want to let it go. And on top of that, you know, you lost your mother and every. I'm not lost your mother, but you had the thing that happened to her. And uh, does that give you more strength to, to win? Well, you did. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just... Um, I think it would give anybody fire to keep going. Either going to break or what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And uh, it hasn't broken me, so clearly it's made me stronger. So, um, you know, I carry that with me. Uh, I carry it into my training. I carry it into my last round, my last mile, whatever it may be. And um, that's something that a lot of people don't have, which is fortunate for them um, because uh, that's a heavy coat to wear. So, but that's something that I have over, I feel like, a lot of people, and uh, I use it to my advantage. So, July 20th, all I can say is tune in. So. How does all this extra attention make you feel? I mean, I just feel like you guys are just catching on to what I've known all along. So, um, I've always looked at myself as a world champion. I feel like I've carried myself. If you look at any of the past interviews long before I became a world champion, I feel like I got the same energy. Nothing's changed. So, uh, I'm just glad you guys are finally catching up. That's all.